Welcome to my room review for the one bedroom ocean view apartment at Q1 Resort and Spa in Surface Paradise. We stayed in this apartment in April of 2021 and we thoroughly enjoyed our stay. We thought the apartment was very clean, we thought that it was spacious and that it had some very, very good features. Firstly, the thing that we liked the most about this hotel was that it has a no party policy. When we were there with our three-year-old son, that meant that he could sleep and he wasn't affected by the noise. Staying in Surface Paradise other times, that has been a problem, where you can stay close to Cavill Mall, but there are lots of nightclubs and party goers around. There is also a no smoking policy at this hotel and because the balcony is enclosed that does make sense but it also once again means that it is very family friendly and appropriate for anyone travelling with a young child. So let's talk about the view. We were on floor number 21, so our view is pretty uninterrupted and because you are only one block back from the beach, it is an awesome ocean view. We couldn't be happier with what we got. So let's move into the living area. When I walked into this area, the first thing that I noticed was how clean the carpet was. I have had issues with other hotels in Surface Paradise being a little outdated and the carpet being very worn. But with this specific hotel room, I felt that the carpet was so clean that I could walk around in this apartment without shoes on. The furniture was clean, there was a nice palette of colour with greys and aquatic colours running through and I really enjoyed how everything looked. On the coffee table you had this little Q1 pamphlet which just gives you very basic information about the hotel. It's really nothing special but I mean at least they provided something. Uh, in regards to TV you have a control that has Netflix and YouTube and Stan and Amazon Prime on it but they didn't work for us so we were kind of stuck with Foxtel which was fine it had a couple kids channels so my son was entertained. Let's talk about the rubbish bin. The rubbish bin is very small so you have to empty it quite often but there is a rubbish chute on every level so it was very easy to keep that under control. Moving into the kitchen, because it is a one bedroom apartment and there isn't any housekeeping or there wasn't any housekeeping while we were there, there was lots of things provided to you so that it is self-contained. Under the sink there are some dishwashing tablets because there is a dishwasher. We didn't use it, we just sort of bought our own soap and sponges that we cleaned our own plates that we bought from home. There is lots of colouring in the drawers. Once again, we didn't use it because we were staying during the era that is COVID-19 and we kind of felt that it wasn't safe to use things that could have been in other guest mouths and I wasn't too sure how well things were cleaned prior to us getting there. Moving to the other side of the kitchen, once again there are heaps of cupboard spaces and lots of utensils if you'd like to do some cooking while you're on holiday. Personally during COVID-19 I don't even know why it's there, I don't know if anyone would feel comfortable enough to use this sort of stuff while they're in a hotel, we just didn't touch it. There was some tea and coffee provided to us on the bench which is behind all of our mess there. There was a lovely oven and stove top. Once again, if you like to do cooking, this apartment is great in the sense that you can have a completely self-contained holiday. And on the bench on the other side, there is a kettle for tea and coffee. So tell me, do you use the things provided to you by a hotel in regards to cutlery, utensils, cookware, glasses, mugs, plates? I don't feel that it's appropriate, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you use that stuff during COVID and during our current climate? There is a microwave and a wonderful fridge. That's probably the thing we use the most in the kitchen because it had an awesome freezer and lots of space for food that we did buy. I really enjoyed the two pieces of artwork that were up in the living area, they were really relaxing and gave us the holiday vibe. 
Moving to the other part of the apartment, there was a vacuum cleaner provided, which we did use a few times. I mean, I thought that we walked in and the carpet was so clean at the beginning that we could only leave it so clean at the end as well. A huge washing machine, dryer, ironing board, iron and a sink. We used the washing machine and the dryer while we were there and that was awesome because we went home with clean clothes, which was great. Moving to the bathroom, the bathroom itself is very standard, once again very clean, lots of cupboard space, uh, there's shampoo and conditioner provided, probably not enough if you're staying there with a the whole family for a whole week, but the bath and the shower were very clean and did the job. My only negative comment for the bathroom is that one of the door locks didn't actually work, so that was a little bit of a problem when your toddler likes to run in while you are having a shower or going to the bathroom. Another little feature I wanted to talk about was the air conditioning. In the Gold Coast, because it is a beachside town, it's really important to have great air conditioning and this system was really good and really easy to use. It's separated into zone one and zone two, that being the living and the bedroom areas. You can choose to have both on at the same time or even just the bedroom at night time, which was really awesome to sleep and not feel too hot. Moving into the bedroom, please mind the bed. It wasn't like that when we walked in. I shot this video a couple of days after we had been there already and because there wasn't any housekeeping, we just sort of left it like that every morning. I bought my own porta cot for my toddler and there was lots of space for that to fit. You can hire your own porta cot for a baby or toddler and that was about $10 a day to do. We set the porta cot up in that corner and that was fine. The view in the room is amazing. Once again, you're only about one block away from the ocean, so there's a pretty uninterrupted view, and every morning it was amazing to wake up to that. If we're talking about hotel apartment bedrooms, this is pretty average bedroom, but it was comfortable and it did the job. There's a TV, a telephone, adequate lighting. In regards to the actual bed itself, the queen bed was two single beds pushed together and then a blanket was put over the top. It didn't really affect us, we had a good sleep, the pillows were comfortable, but I thought to mention it in case it does throw you off when you get there. The cupboard space is ample, there's a safe in the cupboard as well, and then the door that is in the cupboard does go to the bathroom, so very quick access during the night. So that's my room review of the Q1 Resort and Spa One Bedroom Ocean View Apartment. The one thing that I didn't really like about the apartment, which I will mention at the end quickly, was that there wasn't a safety latch on the inside of the front door. That can be a little bit of a concern when you are staying with a three-year-old toddler that can easily open doors and leave as they wish. So I would just fix that little minor detail. Apart from that, I would give this room a four and a half star stars out of five and I would definitely stay here. If you liked my video please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you traveling somewhere soon.